you uh, read the prophecy in Revelation 13, mm -hmm. and you said you know who that is. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Would you tell us? There are two principal characters in Revelation 13. Yes. One is the Antichrist, and the other is a false prophet. That's right. Now, there's a lot of debate about the identity of both these two characters. And I didn't want to speculate. I didn't want to play the game like what everybody does, you know. Sure. I was just minding my own business. And a few years ago, I think about four years ago, I was in a conference in Sydney, Australia. And one afternoon, as I was waiting on God, the Lord Jesus appeared to me. And he spoke about the false prophet who's mentioned in Revelation chapter 13. Yes. And then very simply and very clearly he said, the present Pope Francis is the prophesied false prophet. And then he went on explaining to me the many things about the false prophet, what the prof false prophet will do. And then later on, I did some research and I found that whatever the Lord Jesus told me was what exactly Pope Francis has already begun to do. And the amazing thing was on June the 8th, 2014, mm -hmm. we were holding a conference in Jerusalem. We do a conference every year in Jerusalem called Open Heavens Prophetic Conference. Mm. And on that particular date, the Pope Francis had invited the president of Israel, Shimon Ser Peres, and the president of the Palestinians, Mahmoud Abbas, for a prayer meeting in the Vatican. So the three men represented the three major religions of the world, the Jews, the Muslims, and the Christians. On that particular day, when they were gathering in Vatican, a meteor flew very close by Earth. And NASA nicknamed the meteor the beast. So that confirmed what the Lord revealed. That the false prophet, the beast that is mentioned in Revelation 13, mm -hmm. is the Pope. And the Pope, among many other things, the Lord said, will gather all the major religions of the world and form one world religion, which he has begun to do now. So there are historical records to say he called for a gathering of all the major religions in the world, a representative of Hinduism, including the Dalai Lama from Buddhism, every one of them, mm. and, get, and gathered them in the Vatican. And they signed a declaration to form a one world religion. And now they're getting many Pentecostal and charismatic ministers of God mm. to join their bandwagon to give them the right hand of fellowship. So many Pentecostals, evangelical ministers of God have been going to the Vatican and making peace and having a good relationship with the Pope. So that further cemented what is prophesied about the false prophet. Because mm. the false prophet is the one who is going to boost up or validate the Antichrist as the God. Because the scriptures also say that Revelation chapter 13 and Revelation chapter 11 will take place concurrently at the same time, which means there will be the two witnesses in Jerusalem and they will do awesome signs and wonders and miracles to prove to every Jew, and not only the Jews, but people all over the world, that the Lord God Jehovah is the one true living God. And then we have the false prophet who will counter the two witnesses by duplicating similar miracles. Mm -hmm. We read in the scripture that the false prophet calls down fire. He does all kinds of awesome miracles exactly like how the two witnesses will do. So, a bystander looking at these two works will be forced to question like how it took place in the days of Moses in Pharaoh's court. Who is the true 
man of God. When, when Moses threw down his rod, it became a serpent. And the magicians duplicated that miracle. Exactly the same. So Pharaoh and everybody in his court, who for a moment believed that Moses' God was a true God, were now questioning if the magicians can also turn their rod into a serpent, then which God is a real God? History will be repeated again. The same dilemma will be faced by everybody when the two witnesses and the false prophet will be doing similar miracles. So ultimately, when the two witnesses are killed, the Antichrist and the false prophet will triumph saying, their goodness, suppose goodness, has now triumphed over evil. And the scripture says, people all over the world watching the killing of the two prophets live on TV. Yes. Now today, we have a forerunner. The ISIS beheaded many Christians yeah. and people watch it on live TV. That's right. So all on YouTube. And it, it, they show graphically them cutting their necks. So this will be repeated again when the people all over the world will watch this event and they will come to believe that the Antichrist is greater than the God that these two witnesses preached about. Oh. So they will shift their allegiance to the worship of the Antichrist as the God. And then he, when he eventually sets himself up as God in Jerusalem, yes. they will still all begin to worship him. Mm -hmm. It's later than we think. Mm -hmm. If you're right, what do you think? Very soon. Very soon. Yes. Suddenly. Suddenly. I am so concerned the church is not ready. Mm 